With Star Fox Zero right around the corner, let's see where all the previous games rank. Now, Star Fox has always been a series near and dear to my heart. It's always been one of my favorite Nintendo series. The dogfights, the voice acting, it was all so cinematic. I've absolutely loved it. And so I thought it would be fun for me to take all five Star Fox games, just rank them from five to one, and just let you guys know which one's my favorite. Okay, we're going to start the list off with Star Fox Command, which released on the DS in 2006. Now this game, it was actually an interesting game compared to the other Star Fox games. This game actually was very heavily influenced by Star Fox 2. Now Star Fox 2 never released on the Super Nintendo. Now I know some people may have seen a ROM floating around on the internet and may have checked it out, but this game was very heavily influenced by that. In this game, you control a fleet of ships, and before each turn, you kind of take your touchpad here and you draw out your map. Uh, to know where your ship is going to go and you can go to planets you can stop missiles and it It's a different way to play the game instead of flying to each individual planet after your ship flies to a certain destination Then you have like a mini battle arena where you fight and it It's not as cohesive as the other Star Fox games one thing I will say though That's absolutely fantastic about Star Fox command it has so many branching stories. There are so many different endings. There are so many different characters. That's actually a really cool thing about this game. But the reason it's a little lower on my list, like I said, is that you're fighting these little battle arenas, but also the entire game is touch controlled. So as you're playing, you're not using the buttons at all. You're actually doing everything from the touch screen. So you're flying with this and you're shooting with the trigger buttons. Now, I know it's on Wii U Virtual Console. So if you want to check it out, it's, it's definitely worth it. It's a little harder to find on the DS now physical copies but if you love Star Fox I would highly suggest checking it out especially if you have some interest in Star Fox 2. Our next game on the list is Star Fox Assault for the GameCube which released in 2005 by Namco. Now this is one where after Star Fox Dinosaur Planet which we'll get to later on our list people were in the Star Fox game where you were back in your ship and you were flying around. Uh, and this game kind of does that, although it mixes in a lot of land missions where people complained a lot. Um, in this game, it actually holds up a lot better than people may remember. Um, I actually played through it recently on my GameCube, and it actually holds up really well. It was kind of a third-person shooter before third-person shooters are really a big thing, because it, it plays okay. I mean, when you run on the ground, you use your sticks to aim and shoot, but there's a lot of mechanics that are missing. You know, um, like cover mechanic, things like that, which would really help the game a lot. It had a lot of things going for it. It was very ambitious because you could there were missions where you ran on the ground and then you could hop into a Landmaster tank and ride around. Or we could hop into an R-Wing and you could fly around. Um, there were other really cool missions where Falco would fly down with his R-Wing and you could actually hop on his wing with a gun. And you while he was flying around, you were shooting other ships. It was actually really, really cool. And the story in this game is actually really good, too. Now, if you want a game you can beat really quick in a weekend, Star Fox Assault is the perfect game for that. It's only a few hours long, so if you can get it on the cheap, I would absolutely check it out, especially if you love Star Fox. Now, I know, like I said before, there was a lot of hate about this game when it first came out, but now that time has passed, if you thought, maybe I want to try it again, I would highly suggest it. The next game on our list may be a little controversial to some, but my number three is going to be the original Star Fox, and that released on the Super Nintendo back in 1993. Now, the reason it's a little bit lower on my list is because it was the first. I mean, it, there's, there's some primitive things going on in here, in which Star Fox 64 actually does better later, um, but it set the bar for so many things. It was one of the first three games, fully polygonal game, where a lot of the ships were very, you know, boxy and all that, but, I mean, it played great. There was nothing else like it on the market, and it still had things where you could fly different planets, um, I mean, and you still fought Andross. All the major staples were there. This set the line for everything in Star Fox going forward. The ship design, the enemy design, everything. And it's a fantastic game. Now it's a little harder to find because it ran off the Super FX chip which was made specifically inside the cartridge. So they never released it on Virtual Console. Hopefully they will in the future because um, it is a great game to, to play, especially if you love your video game history. Star Fox, the original Star Fox, is absolutely worth checking out so you know where this awesome series started. 
Second place on our list is going to go to Star Fox Adventures Dinosaur Planet. Now that released on the GameCube back in 2002 and it was the final game by Rare for Nintendo before they went over to Microsoft. Now many people look at this game like, oh it ruined Star Fox because Originally, it was a game called Dinosaur Planet. It didn't have anything to do with Fox McCloud. Um, and then, famously, Miyamoto came in and said, Hey, that, that character looks a lot like Fox. We should wrap the Star Fox uh, world around it. And so Rare kind of redid the whole game and, and had it around Star Fox. Now, this game plays really well, especially if you like Legend of Zelda. It's all about, you're never in your Arwing. Well, actually, you are your Arwing for very tiny, small bits to get to different planets. But other than that, you are always on foot. And you work with Prince Tricky of Dinosaur Planet, and he's kind of like your partner. So you can send him to do different things for you. You, you know, you can dig things out for you. And, and, it, and you have this magical staff, which gives you different powers. You can shoot fireballs and things like that out of it. And it's a very long, lengthy game. Plus, it looks fantastic. The voice acting in it is fantastic. It's just a great game overall. And so if you have had a chance to play Dinosaur Planet, I highly suggest checking that one out, especially if you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda. Now, it should come as no surprise what our number one is going to be. It's going to be Star Fox 64. Now, Star Fox 64 is the game that everybody loves. This is the game that people want Star Fox Zero to be. Every Star Fox game that ever comes out, people want it to be Star Fox 64. This is the game that started Doom Barrel Roll and it, I mean, it had all the awesome voice acting and, and the battle with Andros and the multiplayer. I remember with my friends playing multiplayer for hours and hours and hours and it was so much fun. And this is Star Fox at its core. If you want, if you boil everything down and get rid of everything in Star Fox, Star Fox 64 is the heart of Star Fox. And this is the one I really hope Star Fox Zero is the closest to. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this countdown, this list of Star Fox. So what do you guys think? Do you think I got it right? Do you think I should move some of those numbers around a little bit? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out the rest of the awesome content from Life of Gaming. Make sure to check us out on iTunes, on Facebook, and on Twitter, at Life of Gaming Pod. And you know you can always find me on Twitter, at JamesPlus12. So until next time guys, I'm out.